Hey guys, I'm Callie Lewis. I'm at the National Restaurant Association show in Chicago, and guess what? I found the next bat signal. Welcome to Geeky. Rich and Eric here from Beanboard, and I was just browsing around here at the National Restaurant Association. I saw the name, and I just was attracted to the name, first of all. Then I saw this thing going on. First of all, explain what Beanboard is. Beanboard is a smart messaging engagement tool, which really means we get your message delivered. And uh, all right, I'm just going to cut you off right here because... Really, what it, I mean, what that says is it's actually QR codes, but better, the next generation, right? Correct. We can turn any image, for example, a sign out front of a business like that, into the way in which you'll opt in. You no longer have to scan a QR code. You can scan a napkin, a bag, literally the sign out front, and then that business can link their Twitter and Facebook account to their image, get one more follower, one more like, and use our technology to broadcast up to five miles away a little cool augmented reality beam like this where they can control the text and make it personal. So it's a real neat way to communicate. All right, so I have a situation. I'm walking down the street. I pull out my iPhone. Android coming soon, right? Android coming soon. All right, so I pull out my iPhone walking down the street. I'm like, huh, I love hot sausage. Um, <laughs> and I want to learn more about them. I want to follow them. I want to be in touch with them. I want to get coupons. I want to get all sorts of in whatever they want to send me. So I, I beam it and I get connected on my phone, correct? That's correct. Just as easy. It's one touch opt-in. So technically speaking, how is this working? Because I say I, I refer to QR codes, but talk to me a little bit about the technical aspect. Well, from the image recognition standpoint, when you scan an image, uh, we send it back to our servers, and it is either identified or not identified. If you've, the business has signed up, it's almost an instant identification. Uh, if not, it may, may or may not identify, but you need to sign up to get identified, and uh, that's how it works. It brings you to a screen where you just click watch, and you're in. So it's just purely image recognition. There's nothing else going on. Uh, that means that no companies have to actually pay for uh, technical uh, infrastructure or anything like that. Rick, we have, a, we have a free account for businesses that lets you get up to 500 people watching your beam and you get a two miles radius to broadcast in augmented reality. And then, depending on how many more people you have and how br uh, broad a range of your, uh, what we call your tractor beam, uh, that's what we eventually charge for. But for now, email us and we'll, uh, we'll take care of you. We're looking to get cool businesses on board. And you mentioned actually the hot sausage. Uh, this was built on the back of a food truck. The pain, the solution of this comes from people coming up to our food truck and saying, how do we find you? And we always had to give a mouthful of follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook. Well, we feel the three words, watch our beam, can be the catch-all, where all they have to do is literally zap the side of the truck that has our logo on, click watch, and we're all now connected. It's simple, it's easier, and then they can actually see where the truck is, and obviously it doesn't only work for mobile, it works for typical bricks and mortar, and even you and me, we can be connected, you can go to the other side of this hall, and I can see you on my Wait. tractor beam, only if you let me see you. Okay, well that, that's good, me. that's good. But no more um, bump, I don't have to use bump anymore? You don't have to, bump's pretty cool, but we're, you know, we're a little bit different to that. Um, but yeah, we, we've got nothing but good things to say about bump. And so one thing that we haven't said is that this has a, a use beyond the restaurant industry. This has much potential just in every business out there on earth, right? A absolutely. Anything from B2B, B2C, we already said C2C, yeah. user to user. Uh, I think there's not a business that is not appropriate to be on our service because it's very um, segmented, it's very privacy oriented, so business can broadcast as much as they want or as little as they want, and same with users, they can broadcast as much as they want or as little as they want. Very, very cool, guys. Uh, there's a lot more to talk about, but I'm going to let them kind of head to your website and learn more from there. Where can they go? Beamboard.com, and then we're also available on the App Store. All right. I feel like saying, beam me up. I'm Callie Lewis. Bye.